the guitar player. Um, we all write, so uh, from that we have two CDs out. So we're, we're, we're writers and I'm the guitar player. I'd say we're, we're just like basically a, a family band that, that was brought up with music in the family and my dad's a musician so the sound that we, we have is, is a little bit of the sound of the 60s up to the present day. That's basically what it is. Keyboards, vocals, writing. I guess the head of the band, the the band. together most of our lives because we are brothers obviously. Our sound is definitely a soul R&B sound with a, with a heavy uh, groove funk edge and a very jazz uh, feeling, heavy jazz feeling sometimes. I'm a percussionist and uh, I do quite a bit of work in the studio um, in terms of just a little, a little bit of producing. Brooke is probably the strongest writer of the bunch and uh, when we're putting stuff together we kind of just try and, try and collaborate and use our strengths to its fullest. And I find that uh, my strengths are just kind of a, a co-producer. And if I may, um, I think that the foundations are definitely from blues. Our father is a blues musician, so as far as I'm concerned, everything that we do is just it's, it, it just spawns straight from from the foundation of the blues.
we'll come with our own ideas and we'll come into the studio and mesh. Interesting. You know, yeah. I, I think we've, we've taken both approaches. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. On our first yeah. CD, it was more of a collective. We would get together and we would jam out ideas and um, we kind of wrote the, the, the most of the material on our first CD that way. The second CD was put together more, everybody kind of had their own schedules, so they're, we all built our own little kind of production studios and mm -hmm. just kind of wrote things and brought them to the table and then brought the human element to it, you yeah. know, just brought the players. Actually, two songs we played tonight in the first set, I think, were actually just rock chords to the thing, just we we're on a gig, just say, okay, check these chords out, and that's it. And we started, I, I built a melody over top of it, and we just jammed two tunes. It was, it was um, uh, talk to me like I talk to your brother and uh, interlude. Yeah. Talk to me like I talk to your brother. first album, Soul Searching, um, we had the opportunity to uh, get connected with a, a very dear, close friend of ours, and, and was, uh, uh, his name is Dominic Trano. He was able to, uh, to get our CD floating around in Japan, which was a big boost for, our, for all of us, because we, at the time, we were, we were shopping around here in Toronto, and we didn't get too many bites on it, so we, you know, we were at the point where we weren't sure what direction to go, and luckily, through my father and Dominic, seeing my father back in the day, we got connected. And he was able to um, to get our CD floating around in Japan for quite some time. So that was that was a huge step for us. Mm -hmm. um, it kept us going to write our second album, which is Living. Um, and uh, yeah, so that uh, that kind of is how we, we we arrived in Japan.